Good morning. Yeah, I'm early this morning. Got a really good night's sleep and I just woke up about 5.30. So, good morning. 6.06 a.m. Thursday, May 18th, 2023. And I was thinking about what kind of coffee should I have this morning? And I haven't had Roma in quite a long time, the Inspirazione Italiana collection. But then I was thinking about, I was in Venice um, last summer, just spent a day there. And, oh, I just loved it. I enjoyed it so much. Of course, it was enhanced by the fact that I have read, what, all 31 or 32 of the um, Commissario Brunetti books, uh, so which all take place in Venice. And so that made it so much more special to actually go to Venice. I had been there before, but oh my gosh, I had been there in 1971, maybe. And then again in 1982, I think. So it's been a while. Of course, not much has changed there as far as what you see. Such a, an amazing historic city. But I thought, oh, let me I'll have Venezia today instead of the Roma. I'll save the Roma for another day. And what does this say about Venezia? I don't really care what it says. I just want to drink it. But just out of curiosity, this is Colombian and Brazilian Arabicas. It says delicately aromatic, caramel notes, a thick body. Okay, so the next year, oh, looks like marble. Okay, so... This is an espresso, and it recommends ristretto or espresso. Ristretto would be like maybe 0.85 ounces. Um, espresso is 1.35 ounces, and this is an intensity of eight. So I'm gonna run it as an espresso. Here we go. I'm already dressed for the gym this morning, for yoga, and, well, the class is called Kick and Tone, but it's sort of like a mixed martial arts. Um, a lot of it's kickboxing, and then we do some other stuff. I can't even remember the name, some Brazilian kind of thing, and some um, Asian type martial arts movements. It's really fun, but what's the most fun is getting to, you know, do that sort of stuff. Okay, so let me get a spoon here. Oh, it, just, it smells the way it should, the way one would expect for espresso. Okay. Mm, yes, S Italian espresso. Does it remind me of being in Venice? You know what? I'm trying to think. It was like a super hot day when I was in Venice last summer. I mean, oh my gosh, it was probably up in the 90s. And yes, there's a lot of water, but you're not on the water. You're walking on the little skinny streets and in the great big squares that they have, which are all paved. So that heat is also coming up at you from the, you know, the ground. And I don't think I probably had espresso there. I think I was probably drinking Diet Coke or something <laughs> or mineral water, but not espresso. However, I did spend um, a week in another part of Italy, right near there, maybe, oh, an hour and a half away or something, because that's where we took the train from to go to Venice. 
and had lots of coffee there. Good Italian coffee. Mmm. Oh, should I add a little milk to this? You know what? I'm not going to today. I've got a chocolate breakfast bar that I'm going to have. It's going to be perfect with this. Oh, is it getting light out yet? Not yet. Okay. Well, in a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and put my phone out to take pictures of some birds before I go to yoga. Yes. Okay. I'm getting a lot done getting up early. Well, look, it looks like nobody is up. Nobody's with me this morning. If you are, please make a comment. Oh, well, if you get on later, put hashtag replay. <laughs> And I'll know, you know, that you came on later. All right. I hope you have a wonderful day.